We are going to do the headbox CBO for the neonatal rotation. We already have the headbox all set up and circuited. I'm going to demonstrate that if you disconnect one of the gas supplies for the oxygen blender, a audible alarm will sound. The alarm means that the FiO2 that is set on the blender is not guaranteed because one of the gas supplies is disconnected. This is the selection for the oxygen blender. It can be turned from 21 to 100% oxygen. The oxygen then comes out one of these flow meters. The flow meter here has whole numbers for the flows in liters per minute. And the one on this side has flows in partial numbers in liters per minute, per minute so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 liters per minute. The oxygen flow comes out the flow meter here and down into the heated humidifier through this adapter and then goes through the humidifier out into the circuit and the circuit goes into the head box. The circuit has a proximal temperature probe and a distal temperature probe and it also has the heated, humidif or the heated wire power source connected. The other connection for the heated wire is not connected because this setup does not have an expiratory limb. The, the um, humidifier will also have a sterile water bag connected to it and the there will also be a um, O2 analyzer in the head box with the baby we want it as close to the mouth as possible so we're measuring what the baby is breathing in and also layering can occur because the oxygen is heavier than air so oxygen will tend to go more towards the bottom. Um, also you want to make sure when you're sizing the head box that this is not too tight around the baby's neck so this one would be too tight. This little seal here can be cut to the size that you want so you want it as close as possible without compressing the baby's neck. Okay, so indications for the head box include need for O2 therapy with consistent FiO2, and the big one for the head box is pneumothorax. Um, so the head box can provide 100% oxygen, which will enhance the washing out of the air inside the pleural space. Um, cons for this device include prolonged exposure to high FiO2 that causes oxygen toxicity, which babies are very sensitive to. That's really the only contraindication. Um, disadvantages for this system when compared to blow-by oxygen is that it's more isolated and also any touching on the head box, like if you were to tap on that, is very loud to the baby and can cause hearing damage. So advantages to this system is compared to blow-by or nasal cannula, you have a more predictable FiO2 and you can deliver higher FiO2 than an isolate due to the smaller space. Um, and also compared to an isolate, the baby is more accessible. So the only thing that isn't accessible is the head. In an isolate, they'd be completely covered. And and the uh, big thing we want to watch for is that we have the flow at least at 7 liters per minute and that ensures that the exhaled air is washed out of the head box. We don't want the baby rebreathing that gas, the CO2 that they breathe out. Um, also the maximum flow that we want to set on this is 15 liters per minute. We don't want it any higher than 15 liters per minute because that will cause too much noise and it will also cause hearing damage for the baby. And that's about it.